So here so, we have the classic. Hi, yes. so who are you? So this is Amin Shaban, founder and CEO of Marseille in Silicon Valley. Uh, we just launched the world's first plug-and-play graphics processor for any game console. So you put HDMI in and the HDMI comes out. What does it do? So basically it's got a built-in, our own processor, it's got a built-in graphics processor that will redraw every single pixel at 120 frames a second in real time with no lag, no lag time. So it's going to upscale, it's going to remove hardware acceleration for anti-aliasing, it's going to redraw color processing, it's got a context color processing too. We have something we call the depth of field processing, and at the end of the day, seeing is believing, you know, there's nothing like experience it, right? So today we're demonstrating what M Classic can do on, uh, you know, a GameCube, a retro game console, a Nintendo Switch, and all the way to a PS4 Pro. So uh, I take my GameCube. So you take your GameCube, which is um, 480p. It's 480p. Yeah, half a million. And I watch it on my 4K TV. 4K TV. So this is a 4K TV. This is a 1440p gaming monitor, right? So I'm going to show you. Uh, so I'm going to show you like GameCube, right? So if we look at it, both of them. This is the original. So if I go into my gaming monitor, it's going to show me the resolution is 720 by 480, which is half a million pixel. In real time, M Classic processor is redrawing all the content all the way to 1440p. That's what we're doing. And on top of that, it's preserving the aspect ratio of retro gaming, uh, which is 4 by 3 in that case. So it's literally an add-on graphics processor to any game console. So if you're a PC gamer, you can go and spend thousands of dollars replacing your graphics card. If you have a game console, there's no way to upgrade. By simply having this plug-and-play graphics processor, HDMI in, HDMI out, powered over USB, every single pixel with no lag time, since all the processing will run sub one millisecond, you get a better gaming experience. It's all about better graphics, better pixel, better gameplay. But some TVs do a bunch of upscaling. And Correct. Stuff, and they do some processing and stuff. Correct. So for which TV is it? Is it good on any? At the end of the day, it's a very good question. You know, the concept of upscaling is not new. I personally been in this video industry for the last 25 years or so. At the end of the day, what we do, we're not fixing your TV, we're fixing the content. So imagine, even if you take an HD TV, if you watch YouTube, it's not going to be in the same picture quality in most cases than if you watch a DVD or if you watch Netflix and so on. So what we do is we take advantage of the graphics processing capability that you have in your game console, take advantage of our built-in graphics processor, and to create a better content that gets you a better visual experience on any TV over HDMI input port. So for every TV? Every TV. It's required to get this? Correct. Get a better Correct. classic experience? M classic, M classic, yes. So we, this doesn't get plugged into the back of TV, it gets plugged into the back of the game console or streaming box. <laughs> Right? So it's really literally by upgrading the graphics processing of your game console that you're going to get a better gaming experience. Uh, so what's your... Is this, this is not the first product you've done, right? No, this is the full-on product to the M-Cable. M-Cable? M-Cable was a disruptive product where we put our first generation graphics processor inside an HDMI connector. Uh, you know, it went really, really well. We, we collected thousands and thousands of feedback and we launched it M Classic, uh, you know, on, M on, on Indiegogo and received more than 10,000 backers, more, sold more than $800,000 of M Classic. Now that we have distributed, it's finally available to all the consumers globally for $99 MSRP. 98? 99, yes. $99. Yes. Um, and uh, so 10,000 have got 10,000 has been sh uh, shipped what's to... The, what's the res reception? Amazing, amazing. Yeah. I mean, we could not be happier. I mean, we delivered what the community have, whether like, what the lesson learned to me is that if you are a classic gamer, there's no discussion whether GameCube or 
uh, you know, either any other retro gaming console, M Classic is a must have. The same goes for Nintendo Switch. If you have a more advanced console like a PS4, it's a nice to have. But at the end of the day, since many, many games are still not rendered natively on 4K, M Classic is definitely an add on graphics processing that we all deserve as gamers. <coughs> and you can go on eBay and you can buy a GameCube for like $50. Correct, correct. So the key is that, again, we're not fixing the hardware, we're fixing the game itself. We're fixing the content. For us, the, the, the key is not about just the fixing your TV or fixing your console, is how can I get a better content rendered in real time with no compromise on latency. So what you're selling is the algorithm? Correct. Correct. So what's your algorithm? So the algorithm, of course, is patented technology, and it's something like I was sharing with you. I started my career way back in Switzerland uh, in one of the most advanced signal processing laboratory of Muracont at that time. At, in, uh, in Lausanne? Lausanne, EPFL. I loved it. It was an amazing experience. We used to work on the supercomputer, 256 processors, and here I am. The Cray. The Cray, yes, so the Cray. what were you doing with the Cray? So I was doing wavelet compression at that time, uh, you know, in the research lab. And what is the wavelet compression? Wavelet compression is a very advanced technique that we used to use to do compression to using 3D subprocessing by 3D subband co uh, composing. And the idea behind was that how can you take content, you know, and compress it into low resolution in order to be able to have it available to consumers. So you fast forward 25 years later, this is I'm in Silicon doing. Valley and I have my own chips and this supercomputer, which was a million dollar supercomputer, a lot of the technology, you know, finally get into a silicon owned by Marseille and we do our magic and it's amazing. What do you do after the EPFL? After the PFL, I moved in Silicon Valley in 1996. They made a mistake, they told me the French accent was charming. I kept it, but the reality had been there since 1996, so over 20 years. To do what and I worked do? as a research engineer at C-Cube Microsystem, and I was working on video compression, video processing. Uh, you know, and this is the time where we work on small video CD player, MPEG-1 encoder, MPEG-2. Eventually, I got into network processors, and by 2005, Marseille was born in Silicon Valley. So, uh, is there like a really cool chip in there? This is our own chip. It's, Your chip? This is Marseille chip. We designed it, ground up in Silicon Valley, and we worked with uh, one of the best foundry in the world, TSMC and Foxconn is our partner for the finished goods. Is it GSP? It's uh, ASIC. ASIC. ASIC, oh yeah. It's massive computation. Your design. Our own design, patented technology, proprietary. What you are seeing, you know, it was too good to be true. Once, you know, and that's basically the result of, uh, you know, research that we've done over the last 20 years, uh, you know, or more. And I'm very, very pleased and honored to have managed to have all these algorithms very advanced into this chip. Can there be a negative to upscale and then upscale again? Because if the TV does upscaling and you do upscaling, can it be a problem? I think, it's a, good I think it's a good question. The short answer is no. Actually, quite the opposite. But one of the challenges that we have, and I will tell you, the reality is that the best that you can get, one of the challenges is that when you have upscaling technology which are mediocre, right? So for example, you take a set-top box or you take a game console that is going to upscale but is not necessarily good, and then M Classic try to upscale on it, we will not have side effects, but we won't be able to upscale it to its best. You see what I mean? You know, you're not going to do make it worse, but ideally, if you give us the original content without doing any processing, we're going to get you an amazing experience. And as a result, by the way, we are one of the only companies that receive, you know, from the well-known Technicolor 42,000 patent in audiovisual 4K image certified by Technicolor for recreating the content in real time as originally intended by movie directors. Is it possible to disable the upscaling on the TV? You will then, would that be a better experience? For sure, the highest rendering we can give, the better it is. But at the end, again, we are making the job of the TV easier by feeling the TV with a better picture. So there's no downside on the TV. The challenge that I was explaining was, is for us, if you really, the more you know video, the more you will appreciate and take advantage of the technology inside. So you can just plug and play, 
or you can make an effort to understand content and set up your console, your device, your source video to play in native resolution. What if I have an even more classic console that has an analog video output? So, do you have anything for that? What we do is, what we do is, we don't uh, focus on because there are plenty, plenty of adapters that will take it from analog, you know, an analog encoder uh, or decoder to take it into digital. And the moment, as long as it comes into progressive, you know, 480p, we do magic to any content.